Hi, this is Indy716 doing a review on the Millennium Falcon. This is a spectacular set, really amazing. Lego has done a great job in this, but this is not the new one from 2011. I think this is older one from, uh, I don't know, I want to say 2004 or 5. I don't really know, I'm sorry. But we're going to move on to our minifigures. First to get Captain Han Solo. Get his snow jacket there. His legs. Tan. Um, next you get Chewbacca. Just your same average Chewie. Then 3PO. He's the same pieces as the one from the Tanta 4 and any others. But this is more of like a pale gold. It's not really like shiny as Tanta 4 was. Next you get Princess Leia with her bun hair. Not entirely movie accurate. She's got like kind of tied up around in the back. Same piece as the Endor set in the new Echo Base. But she's got her jacket on and just plain white legs. Then you get another average typical snowtrooper. I gave him a pistol because you know, might want to let go of his big cannon here. Really nice looking cannon. Really kind of the only part the snowtrooper plays in this set. But it's really nice that they came with him. But we're going to move on to the set here. And I'm saying now, this is a bit of a mod review. I'm not showing you how on actually any of them, because they're fairly complicated. But maybe if enough people request it in the comments, I'll show you. Anyways, we're going to start on the sides of the wings here. This is, again, I added this in because it felt kind of empty because you could see straight into the space under here. And then you've got the little details on the side there. These are printed pieces, so... Oh, actually, sorry. No, they're not printed pieces. Sorry, my bad. They're not printed pieces, but they're not that hard to apply. Stickers there. Now this piece can lift up. I'm going to show you right here. Open these doors. And pull out our little smuggling box for Han. And he's got... He's got a pair of binoculars in there. Those just fit in there, and the box can go right there. And these can close. Moving on to our cockpit. This whole piece can come right off. I'm going to give you a view, like... Okay, now we're inside the Millennium Falcon. We're in the cockpit. But over here, in the actual cockpit, you've got a slightly extended control pad that I did. It's not that hard. You should figure it out just from the pieces there. I've got a joystick. Now this is a really unique cockpit. I'm going to try and show you how to fit the figures in. Oh yeah, and it can spin 360. You sit Chewie in first, if he's in the co-pilot seat. Push him all the way back. Then you got to push his arm back here. And this one can be out like that. So he's sitting back there. Now we're going to move this joystick. And Han goes... This is kind of similar to how 3PO and R2. So I'm just going to try this with my right hand now. Okay, there we go. Now we got Chewie and Han sitting in there. It's kind of awkward, but it's alright. It's still a really cool set. Anyways, we're going to move up to the top now. We just got lots of detail everywhere. You kind of have a ring of these uh, great pieces going around. You can see that. Just pretty cool. Got them. You got these fins, four fins on the back here that I turned around because that's how they looked in the Ultimate Collector's Falcon. I don't have it, so don't ask me to, to review it. I'm just telling you now. Then you got these vents at the back. Up top here you have your rotating quad lasers. It doesn't look like it's secured on, like it's held on very well, but it actually is. If you, well, I don't know about your any others, but mine was has never fallen off. 
Unfortunately, you don't get one on the bottom, but it's not that hard to add in. Anyways, moving on, we've got our sensor dish here. And rotate. There, it gets knocked off in the movie. It says in the book, at least if you read that. But this piece here can come right off like that. And then inside, you can see our controls, manual controls for the laser up here. Again, there's not two, but it's something you might want to look into. Now, uh, I've actually got a flashlight here. This next part is really going to be dark, so we can light there. Sorry if it's too bright, but now this part right here, you can pull it out, and you can see here the landing ramp came down. Sorry, the light's been colored red, so looks cool though. Like, you can just push this in and out. Please don't make any sexual comments about that. And then the ramp will go down. That's a really cool feature, and I'm telling you now, that is not in the new Morning Taco. So that's something towards this. But around to the other side, the other kind of pod, I suppose, here can lift up like that for our escape pod. And the roof of this just comes off, just like just like others we've seen, 10 to 4. Um, I think they've made a set of an escape pod, actually. One that 3PO and R2 took to land on Tatooine. But anyways, you get your controls in here. No piece at the back there, like the tented forehead, but... So I guess you could fit more figures. I don't know. I think it can fit two people, if you kind of squish them together, but... I don't know if it can actually... I don't think it can fit anymore. Now we're going to go and open this all up. And I'm telling everyone now, if you have this, you will know right away it's different. Okay, I got the idea to do... I got a couple ideas from other people and other videos I've seen, so I want to thank... Actually, right away I want to thank uh, Brick Plumber for his Hoth video. He showed us his falcon, and it kind of gave me the idea to do walls. Oh, sorry, and this piece I'm just going to take off because it's not going to stay up. Anyways, we're going to start right here. You can kind of see in there. No, I can't see over there, but you can kind of see in there you get a bed there. Don't know if you can see that oops, that pillow in the background there. Now over here, this is where all the tools are, and this is Han's hood too. So, well, this is what his hood looks like. Sorry, the peg came off with it. It's really cool. You get it's it's got its own stand. That's why I have his hair on because it would look a little funny if his hair was on a stand. Anyways, back here you get the hyperdrive. Now this is really, really cool. Had to do some work on these walls here so the tube could go through. Anyways, it's got a nice hyperdrive sticker. Sorry, camera's moving out of focus. But you get five transparent blue, I think electric blue heads. Like it's not just the cone, sorry not cone, tube pieces that are used in the stand here, it's actual heads. So that's really nice. Then back here, you get your rec room that I added. I didn't really have anything else to do with this room, so you get a little Galaga going on right there. You can see the gray stud is your spaceship, and then you get two enemies. Then you got like, a nice little recliner right there, a remote, and then the joystick that controls for Galaga. Here you've got your escape pod. Here is your... I don't know the name of this. I'm sorry, people. This is space checkers, we'll call it. You get a bench here that I added. I've kind of cramped everything around, so that's something that's really realistic about this in the mods. The Falcon was a little kind of put together, not really actually built. Then over here, you get a swivelly chair. It took me forever to rearrange this room so that everything could spin around fully, and then the bench and the table were at good heights. 
Now we're gonna move into the last room here, which appears at first to have nothing in it. This is probably my favorite of my mods. You get a swivelly chair there, this big open space, it's nice. Then you can actually pull this piece off here, and this one comes off of that. And then you've got the smuggling compartment. You can fit a figure in there. And the idea to do this, uh, I'm sorry if I mispronounced the name, but I believe Loxitan, he did a review on the original Millennium Falcon, and that gave me a lot of ideas. So I want to thank him right now in hopes that he will watch this video. And so, yeah, I'm just going to fold up Falcon, give you one last look. This set, overall, I would give straight away a 10 out of 10. Um, I don't know if everyone else would, but I love this set. This is a really, really great set. And these, you get some more vents right there. I just knocked the cockpit off, I'm sorry. Really nice. Look at the back there. Just look all around. This was a great set. I think the original store price was like $120. If you can find it, like off eBay, or I think the site is called Bricklink for that price, and you should get it. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember how much I got this one for, but it also came with a free snow speeder. So that was pretty cool. Anyways, that's it for this review. Please rate and comment, and see you later.